On trumpets and on flugel horn, ladies and gentlemen, and muted trumpet, we mean to get paid for two trumpets, is uh, Mr. John Mainwaring. John's been very busy lately, ladies and gentlemen. John, ladies and gentlemen, has been very busy. He recently climbed the Mount Kilimanjaro. <laughs> and in the process of doing so, raised £40,000 for Valindra. I recently climbed the highest mountain in Merthyr. <laughs> That's Kilimanjaro for a jail. <laughs> now, speaking of old money, <laughs> on saxophone this evening, now my sax, our, our normal saxophone player, Eric, those who've been to the show a few times will, will notice that uh, our saxophone player has a slightly different colour hair than our normal saxophone player. Eric has gone on holiday, and so what we had to do was call in what they call a dep, deputy, deputise for our saxophone player, right? So we call him Beefy, because he's also the best in the business. Now, Beefy, Normally pays for oil money. <laughs> Which is fine, not a problem. Except oil money is in a high tide tonight. <laughs> so last night, it is true, last night oil money phones me feel. Right, but I've been working out all day. Right, but are you for tomorrow, but? If he says yes, both call tomorrow. I said, but yes, yeah, you, you there, high tide, seven o'clock. If he says, what do you mean high tide? I'm in the Grand Pavilion. Oh, but high tide, high tide. If he says, no, I'm in the Grand Pavilion, my poor child. Old money says, what? So next thing, this morning, old money phones Al. Right? He says, what do you mean you've got me feet? I've got me feet the high tide. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> so, and, and, and old money says to Al, can Beefy finish early to come to the high tide? <laughs> so I told him where to go. Which is why I'm, I'm stalling tonight, I'm going to give as long as I can. <laughs> so the upshot is, when we do finish here, we're all going to the high tide. <laughs> and you're invited as well. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, so well, this next song is, um, it's one of the songs that I, I really did grow up with this song and um, my father introduced it to me and I've always loved uh, Billy Joel from way, way back when, you know, and this is one of those songs that I always, always wanted to record and you, know, you just can't get like backing tracks of, of these songs because they're a little bit obscure, it's a fantastic, fantastic song and uh, I took the opportunity of recording it for, for the new album. This is one of my favourite ever songs, it's called I've Loved These Days.
Begin. 